Today we are on board the world's newest and largest cruise ship, Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas. I am currently in the 18 and up adults only area known as the Hideaway, which is fitting because we've just arrived in Royal Caribbean's beautiful private island perfect day at Coco Cay. We're not going to explore the entire island today, we are checking out a very special place, a brand new area on the island known as Hideaway Beach, which is also adult only. We need to go down to the gangway. I'm glad they have a button here, very convenient. We're going to elevator H. One thing I do wish they had for the elevators, MSC does pretty well, is they give you an idea as far as how long it's gonna take for the elevator to arrive. But either way, still pretty functional. As you can see, the elevator is absolutely massive. Lots of space. Here we go, let's disembark. And we are officially off. Time to explore. I know this video probably isn't doing it justice, but you don't realize how massive this ship is until you get out of it. Wow. Unfortunately, it isn't a perfect day at Coco Cay. You can see the water is extremely choppy, overcast in the sky, but we are going to make the best of it to ensure that it is still a perfect day. Look at that. It's a stunt plane. I know everybody wants to see that big, beautiful aft. That's back of the ship for all you common folk. Unfortunately, it's extremely windy today and it looks like everybody's starting to head back. However, I'm not complaining because you know what that means? I get the entire island all to myself. We have officially made it to Perfect Day at Coco Cay, home of the tallest water slide in North America, Devil's Peak. But we are not going there today as we gotta go this way. To Hideaway Beach. Today I do have a special invitation to go to Hideaway Beach. However, during normal sailings or what we call revenue sailings when paying passengers are on board, it will be listed as an excursion and you will have to pay. I will find out the price whenever we get over to Hideaway Beach. From my understanding, Hideaway Beach is a little far away, so you have two options. Either you can walk or you can take the tram over to that area. So I just spoke to the driver. If you decide that you want to walk over to Hideaway Beach, it'll just be a five to seven minute walk. Not a big deal. Here we are, Hideaway Beach. Let's see what we're working with. Something tells me this is going to be a very, very nice area. Wow, I just got here and already by first impression, I can tell you guys straight up that this beach here is already better than Virgin's private beach over in Bimini, Bahamas. I have to admit, I am absolutely blown away by Royal Caribbean's adult-only area, Hideaway Beach, and I haven't even seen all of it yet, barely even a fraction of it, which I'm gonna do some exploring in a minute. However, I bring all of you additional information. The price to get into Hideaway Beach is just $39 a pop, $39 a person. However, here's the caveat to that. This area is only going to sell 2,000 tickets, so 2,000 people will be allowed in. That may sound like a lot, but do keep in mind, Royal Caribbean's newest and largest cruise ship, Icon of the Seas, holds 7,000 passengers. A fraction of that is going to be adults, so imagine this ship, Icon of the Seas, and Wonder of the Seas, for example, Oasis class ship being here. I would imagine these tickets are gonna sell out pretty quickly, so whenever you book a cruise with Royal Caribbean, and you're coming to Perfect Day at Coco Cay, book early, because this will sell out. Man, this is insane. They got good music, pool bars, everything you would need under the sun to have a great time. You know, I'm surprised. It is a little chilly today, but everybody's in the water. I do wonder if, oh, wow, the pool is heated. I knew this place would be good, but I had no idea it'd be this good, and it's massive. Here we have the hideaway hut. Here, you can come get some food. They have hot dogs, burgers, shrimp, baskets, fish beach food no way and live music over here this is amazing i don't know i think royal caribbean might have won me over just a little bit this life is amazing. okay let's check out the rest of this beautiful area oh nice they have pizza on this side oh wow these are nice i'm guessing these are the vip cabanas i know the other ones that i believe are a little bit smaller were six hundred dollars for the day so if i had to guess this could potentially be double but as you go to the beach here this is the end plenty of lounging space as you can see not the best day but it is what it is we're still having a perfect day at coco k of course they have the hammocks as well and just a lot of places to come here and hang out. You have ocean water coming in here, so a lot of people were taking a dip in the cold ocean and then going into the heated pool over there. Well, I'll be honest with all of you, I am sold. I am coming back here for 
extra analysis, if you will, probably around spring or summertime. I do want to see how this environment operates whenever there is, let's say, better weather and more party people. And we are back on board Icon of the Seas. I'm all showered, bright and shiny and new. And now we have to see one of the main primary production shows here on board at the Aqua Theater. Here we are, the Aqua Dome. Let's see the new Central Park. I have not been here since I got on board the ship. Well, they've definitely moved some things around from Royal Caribbean's Oasis class when it came to the Icon class. They have Chops in here, Azumi, which I believe I have a reservation for later. By the way, it's been very difficult trying to get a reservation here. All of the execs are here, and basically every single specialty dining option is sold out for this entire shakedown cruise. There's also the Park Cafe, which is a great place if you want a good free breakfast. They have jewelry shops and a new venue here that is a jazz and blues venue called Lou's. As you can see, things are definitely starting to liven up a little bit for the evening festivities. Casino was open, everybody's out grabbing a drink. Now, I am curious because there are 4,000 passengers on board. Next week, when regular paying passengers get on board, it'll be over 7,000 passengers on board Icon of the Seas. It should be interesting to see what the environment looks like then. Just so all of you have an idea of how long and large this ship is, this is the more forward or front part of the ship. And the backer after the ship is all the way down there. Meaning, if you need to go from the front to the back of the ship, it's probably going to take you at least three days to get to that point. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But it will take a very, very long time. So it is time for dinner, and it appears that luck was on my side, or should I say our side? By that I mean, normally for a shakedown cruise like this, a test cruise or a pre-cruise before the revenue sailing or paying passengers to get on board, there are a lot of execs, a lot of important people, let's put it that way, suits if you will, that take up most of the specialty dining options. However, thanks to Lux Rally Travel Agency, make sure you check them out. They are absolutely amazing, give you the best experience possible. Link in the description box below. Also, the link will be pinned in the comment section. Make sure you check it out for the ultimate vacation experience, whether it's booking your flights, hotels, all-inclusives, cruises, resorts, you name it. They will make sure you have the best experience possible at the best rates. Also, they charge no fees. Make sure you check them out. Anyway, guys, let's go try Izumi in the park because it's in... Central Park, of course. Well, dinner was great. We met with a lot of, uh, well, let's just say important people. It was a good time. Now we have to go see a preview of the parade that will be available for the revenue or paying passengers whenever the ship launches. <laughs> time on board the world's largest and newest cruise ship, Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas. I'm thankful for it. I wish I had more time because this ship is absolutely massive. It is beautiful. However, after three days on board, I did realize a lot about this ship that I don't think a lot of people are talking about. I am going to put that on my main channel as well as my review and my cruise ship cabin crawl that I did of rooms, of course, like the standard balcony cabin, the ultimate family townhome, and so much more. Make sure you guys check that out on my main channel, The Ship Life, and of course, make sure you subscribe to this one as well. Also, once again, make sure you check out our new sponsor and travel agent partner, Lux Rally Travel Agency. I will be an agent with them soon as well. So if you're lucky, you may be able to book with me, and we have big plans coming up. A lot of traveling, and let's just say 
lavish vacations and experiences that I have to show all of you. So stay tuned. I appreciate all of you. I love all of you. Hit that like button on your way out. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.